Hello and welcome. I am Sabine Gotts Peters, coordinator for the option European Perspective, available for ISHEC Master students, MIBM students, and Erasmus students. And I'm Giselle Hintesh, one of the two professors of the course on European Economics. The program is all about business in the EU, and both business and the EU are currently experiencing important processes of upheaval, of change. And so the point of the course is to help students learn how to navigate the situation in order to better operate in the current business environment within the EU. In order to enable students to do this, we have to go back in time to take a look at, to try to understand how historical, political, economic processes have contributed to determining the current situation. Then we have to zoom in on that current situation to understand how is it that decisions affecting the business environment are made, how these affect students, how students can affect these changes, and then, of course, we have to focus in on the European management model, okay, in the current context of globalization, in contrast, for example, with the American business model, okay, or with um, Chinese uh, management models. Well, first and foremost, it prepares students that would like to work in the business environment in Europe. So, for example, working um, as a manager of a company in, in Europe. Um, but then, of course, it can also uh, help prepare students that would like to work with the European institutions, um, either as an official uh, within the European institutions to help them prepare for the EPSO examination, or to work, for example, as, as a consultant or with one of the organizations that work that revolve around the European institutions. And then there are those students that would like to pursue further studies on European um, issues, and this is sort of the logical sort of first step helping them move in that direction. There are three courses in the option, each one worth five credits and divided in two learning activities. I teach the course on European economics along with Ivo Maas. Um, I think that what, what determines the current situation in the EU is heavily marked by the crisis that took place almost a decade ago now. And so the course really focuses on understanding the different aspects of, of the current situation. So Ivo Mas will focus on the monetary aspects, taking a look at the history of monetary arrangements within the EU in order to understand the current functioning of the economic and monetary um, situation in the EU. And I will take a look at the, the fiscal and other macroeconomic aspects of the crisis and the current situation. European History and Institution course taught by Mr. Steinhaus and myself. In the history part, uh, the students will be provided with an historical base in order to have a better understanding of the main challenges that the EU currently faces. In the institution part, the students will learn all about the functioning of the European Union and its institution, the legislative process, how they are influenced by the European legislation and how they can influence it. European management is taught by two professors, Jean-Claude Lecoyer and Duncan Freeman. The part given by Jean-Claude Lecoyer will enable the students to identify the relevant elements characterizing the management model and the organizational culture of a specific country or an organization. The part given by Duncan Freeman focuses specifically on the European management model in the context of globalization, particularly in its relations with the Chinese economy. The teaching methods have been designed in a way to promote the active engagement of students in the, in the learning process. Um, professors will be providing lectures, but students will be expected to actively engage in, in discussions that will take place during, during classes. They will be expected to read certain um, readings that will be assigned to them in order to be able to, to participate in these discussions. And then, of course, there are going to be activities that will take place outside of the classroom. For example, there will be different uh, visits of the European institutions, of the European Parliament, for example. Um, students will be visiting museums, uh, for example, the, the very new uh, House of European History. And um, there's even uh, one of the highlights of, of the program is, is a role play in which students will participate where they will actually experience the, the European legislative process 
Um, so really the, the key point here is active uh, participation. And this is reflected in the um, assessment of the students, which will focus heavily on participation. And then of course, there will be the um, papers that students will be asked to write and the oral presentations of these papers. Um, there will be no exams um, in this uh, option. We look forward to working with you in this very international and relevant option. For more information, please contact us. We hope to see you soon.